So Wild Hearts is out and you must be wondering, is it any good? You got Fortnite building in a monster hunting genre. It looks pretty dope, but is it actually? Well, I'm gonna try to break that down for you right now. But before we hop into that, if you guys like Monster Hunter or Wild Hearts content, please drop this video a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, please ring the notification bell so you never miss one of my uploads. Now, the first thing I wanna discuss is how to actually get Wild Hearts. So first up, the main option would be paying the full $70 for Wild Hearts on Steam. Now, $70 is super steep, considering a lot of games over the last couple of years have not been actually worth $70. But there are two other options. One of them being the EA Access through the EA Play membership, which is $5 a month. This membership will give you a 10 hour demo of Wild Hearts and new up and coming games on the EA library. Now, anything that's not new and upcoming, you can play those unlimited as long as you have the membership. But brand new games that just came out, this membership only gives you a 10 hour window of playing those games. But if you'd like to play the game longer than 10 hours, the EA Pro membership for $15 a month gives you unlimited access with no time limit to play Wild Hearts and all of the other upcoming games and any other game on the EA library as well, as long as you want, as long as you have the membership. But that's not all. This EA Pro membership also gives you premium access. And in Wild Hearts case, that will add on two cosmetic armor sets, a decorative lantern for Yusukumu, and three emotes. Now, obviously this isn't any groundbreaking content, but it is really nice that this is just included with the membership. Now, I know how a lot of people feel about subscribing to a membership that you may end up forgetting about, and then a year later, you're still paying for it even though you're not even using that service but personally in my opinion this is the best way to play wild hearts you can either get the five dollar membership and play the game for 10 hours and after 10 hours if wild hearts is just not your game then you can cancel your membership or you can cancel it the same day that you get it and if after those 10 hours wild hearts isn't your game you essentially still have an entire month of being able to play pretty much anything on the ea library and you can also do this exact same route for the EA Pro membership. If you do in fact want to play Wild Hearts more than 10 hours, all you have to do is either get the EA Pro membership from the jump, or you can upgrade your $5 EA Access membership to the EA Pro membership. And then once you get access, you can cancel the renewal so you don't get hit with that $15 renewal payment the following month. And then there you go. You have full access to every new and upcoming game and everything else on the EA library for an entire month. You can play as much as you want, as long as you have that membership. So now let's talk about some pros and cons. First up, pros, crossplay. Wild Hearts will be completely crossplay between PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC through Origin, Steam, and the Epic Game Store. Then, personally, a plus for me, coming from Monster Hunter, there's no weapon sharpening. You don't have to worry about your weapon getting dull or having to sharpen mid-fight. So that's a huge plus for me. Next up is the building. The building is not just ramps and walls. This is not literal Fortnite. It takes the premise of building like Fortnite, but it does so much more with it. Yes, you can build giant walls that help stagger the kimono, or you can build little towers that you can jump off of so you can get an aerial attack. But you can also create a glider that allows you to fly above the fight to escape damage or traverse around the map better. But not only this, you can also build hammers that will smack the kimono. You can build lanterns that will charge your weapons. Seriously, when I say the building goes to a whole new level, I mean it. The tree is super in depth and the stuff you can build is awesome and very helpful. Next up is the content that will be coming to Wild Hearts in the future. As far as we know, future content to Wild Hearts will be free. At least the update in March and the update in April. Both updates will be adding variations to weapons and kimono, armor, quests, and all kinds of really good stuff completely for free. But now it's time for the cons. The number one con is performance. The performance absolutely needs work. And this actually is something that has already been addressed by the devs. They are working towards fixing this. 
So yes, there are going to be quite a few stutters. You're going to get some frame drops. Sometimes there's going to be a little bit of a desync. You might have a crash here and there. But all in all, the performance, although it needs work, it's definitely not that bad. And again, the devs are already working towards fixing this as soon as possible. Now, the other con is actually an audio bug. Personally, for me, after playing for roughly four hours, the audio would just turn super flat and I'd only be able to hear the background music. I wouldn't be able to hear the slashes of my sword, the grunts of my character, the roars of the kimono. But that didn't really deter from the game. It was just weird that I couldn't hear it anymore. But this has actually already been addressed and temporarily fixed. The way you fix this is by switching the speaker system in the game to 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound. And it actually does give a boost in performance as well. But even this update is not entirely foolproof because about another six hours later, even after having this implementation into the game, my audio still turned super flat and there was a bit of a delay to it. But closing the game and relaunching it fixed that problem. So I know it's not ideal to close your game to fix an audio bug, but for the most part, the update that the devs implemented into the game does work. But even when it doesn't, saving your game, logging out and logging back in does fix it. So all in all, the game is super fun. The kimono are very unique. You get to fight the likes of crows and porcupine, a stone grizzly bear, a fire monkey, and an enormous piggy and much much more on top of that the armor is super cool it all looks really nice and the weapons are really fun to use plus there's not only two or three weapons there's eight different weapons you can use that all have super in-depth upgradable trees so if i were to give wild hearts a rating after 16 hours of playing it i would give it an 8 out of 10. the game is very fun there's a lot of pros there's very few cons and the devs are very active and they are already working towards fixing a lot of issues that the community has brought up. But I still don't think the game is worth $70. But then again, I don't really think any game is worth $70. Personally, every game that I have spent anywhere between $60 to $70 for over the last five years is now collecting dust in my Steam library. So if you want to try the game, you can try it for $5, cancel the membership immediately, and you get 10 hours of playtime without having to worry about having a game that you're probably never going to play again, and you're just not going to get that money back. Or if you want to play longer than 10 hours, you can get the $15 membership, again, cancel it same day, and play it as long as you have that membership. And if you get bored of Wild Hearts in 25 hours, you could go play everything else on the EA library, as long as you have that membership. I really do enjoy the game, and I think it's super fun. I'm definitely going to be playing this more, and this is just a quick little review after 16 hours. But I will most likely be covering this game even further as I progress through the game even more. So around the time that I get to the 50 or 60, maybe even 70 or 100 hour mark, I will most likely make another, if not two, if not three videos discussing this game and where the end game content takes you, future updates and whatnot. So if you guys do want to see more Wild Hearts or Monster Hunter-esque content, and also if you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, drop a comment down below if you are going to end up trying out Wild Hearts. Please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss one of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.